Okay, what is up, everybody? We're back again with the Ice Bear. Um, we are going to be doing something to this now. I'm about to hit 1,500 miles, so I've been driving it a while now for being it, having it stock anyways, I should say, that I think I'm going to throw in the CDI now. Um, it's supposed to have a no rev limit CDI, so we'll see where that goes. Um, I'm not expecting much of a gain from it, but that'll be the first step in doing stuff to this. I actually took it out to one of the car shows around me in PA. It was uh, Creatures of the Night. Um, took it out there. A lot of people liked it. They got I got asked a bunch of questions about it, so on and so forth. I basically told them, just like a ruckus, except... So they're spending the thousands of dollars you know you already get the frame that's already stretched you already have the full engine the 150 engine in it you already have the wiring harness routed through it um and all that so <clears throat> also i'm going to point out to this um now what I've, I've actually been buying stickers from these guys for a while now vinyl stickers and um they're actually pretty cool i'll give them that um, basically, I got a little vinyl sticker here, sticker here, got the whole YouTube channel on there. It looks pretty good. I had to cut it into sections to make it fit, but overall, it looks pretty nice. It was only like $6, and um, I'll actually probably drop their link in the description down below. They're called Vinyl Sickness. Um, I actually use them for the YouTube channel on the back of my car as well. But, just wanted to throw that out there. If you guys are looking for, like, vinyl decals or anything like that, um, go ahead and go check them out. No, I mean, this isn't a sponsored video from them or anything like that. I'm just throwing their name out there because they have a bunch of different color schemes you can choose from um, and stuff like that. But, yeah, so if you want, go ahead and check them out for sure for some YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, any kind of stickers like that. But we'll jump into this so in order to change the cdi in this and also maybe tighten up some wires or anything like that first what you're going to need is you should probably have another cdi handy now this is going to be one of the no rev limit cdis here um it honestly looks pretty standard just looks pretty much like the stock one that came on my old scooter that i had and this one now um now to get to where the CDI is on these, um, basically it's going to be behind the battery box and all you have to do is you get behind it, I already I kind of cheated on you guys, I already took the screws out except for a couple like if you see that one, that one didn't want to come out, um, that one in there didn't want to come out and that one didn't want to come out, but all the other ones wanted to come out fine, but basically it's going to just be, there's a screw hole down here in the bottom screw hole over here on the bottom screw hole right there 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 and there so we got a total of what eight screws eight screws they're all phillip head screws so all you need is a little phillip screwdriver now to take off the bottom two you're, you're gonna have to turn the wheel so you can get a, enough space so you gotta turn it to the left to get to the right side screw and then to the right to get to the left side screw opposites now if you want to take off the main one you're gonna to have to take off these three and then it'll release the whole front the whole front plastics but we just need to get into the back now when you pull it off you're gonna to have to push it you're gonna to have to pull the plastic up so it jumps over the ignition switch basically you can I mean you can grab it any way you can just grab it pick it up over and drag it over now be careful because the side turn signals the wires are going to be connected in the back so just gently try to lower it down and then there's that that'll hang there and then you got you got your battery back behind here you got all your wiring for you got let's see this one's going to be the relay and all the plug and connectors for the left side and then you have the lights, so on and so forth. The voltage regulator's in there as well. That guy, 
got the horn back in here and then you got the headlight box and right here in the bottom left side you got the CDI so basically the easiest way to do it um, if you want you can just pull out the whole thing just on a rubber mount just wiggle it a little bit back and forth up and down pull out the whole CDI box you're gonna want to save the little rubber piece because it'll actually slide around the CDI just go ahead and slide this sucker off So that's hanging, got the rubber piece. We'll have to fit that around that one. And then with the wires, you're gonna have five wires set up on it. Um, basically just gonna pull back on the prong and with the wires, stick your finger in there, I guess. If you're, one, if you're doing it one-handed, just pull up on them. Same thing with the other side. You gotta take it, pull up on that. And then there is the stock box. So if we're going to compare side by sides here, you got this one, this one. So this, the unlimited rev is definitely a little bit bigger than the stock one. Um, same plug and play situation. All, all, this one has a six prong, this one has a six prong. That one wasn't even us, utilizing the one prong. So we'll go from there. Um, let me go ahead and wrap this back in. So basically gonna slide in like this so you just go ahead and take it wrap the plastic little rubber holder on it and you just stretch it a little bit wiggle it in place and you just, just slowly inch it back up I would make it I would probably take it about 75% of the way up because you can't get past the prongs so there's no point even trying in that and then we'll take this Go back over and if you look you'll see how it mounts on you basically just use a little side holder here and you basically you can just wiggle the bottom one on and then flip it over to the top now that's all in place and you just take the wires. I'm going to route them back through this way, you guys. That way we can just go straight in for it. And then we're going to take the two prong, stick it in the two prong. You'll hear it click when it locks in place. Move this wire out of the way. And we will push that in. And that's it. And then you're basically going to take the battery box it back over and you're gonna have to watch out for that wire down there you see how it's trying to wrap around the battery for the lights we'll reach down in there let me get that for you guys real quick you're gonna reach down in here and you're gonna pick this wire up and try to hold it above it so you can wrap it up around and then you got the battery box held back in place by the ignition switch Make sure all the loose wires are actually tough, tucked back in. And then basically you see the little pins where the screws go. And then you basically just put the box back in there like this. Line everything back up. And then you screw it in. And you call it a day pretty much. Unless you want to get in there and do something else. I'm going to have another video about actually tightening the wires up. Fastening them so on and so forth. Because there's a lot of rattle that comes from the actual box itself with all the wires jumping around in there and all that but this was just a quick video um, doing this the CDI install on the ice bear um, I'm gonna be probably doing the exhaust and maybe the intake soon um, I do kinda wanna maybe think about rebuilding this engine to a 180 171 180cc and maybe doing some clutch work and maybe running that fat back tire but I'm still up in the air about the fat back tire but for now that was going to be the quick video on the CDI install on the ice bear um, 
I'm going to be doing a lot more stuff on this, so if you want to check out what I'm going to be doing to it, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Um, if you have any questions on that or anything about this so far, go ahead, drop it in the comments section. Um, I can try to answer it the best I can. I have messed with these a couple times, not just the Ice Bear, but other scooters alone. So they all pretty much share the same power plant. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave it down there in the comments. If you like the video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up on it. And like always, to try to grow the channel if you can or if you want to, go ahead and share it on Facebook, uh, Snapchat, wherever try to help grow the channel up a little bit but that's going to be it for today guys hope you guys have a good day and see you next time peace